Several years ago, one of my friends told me about a very interesting way to solve quadratic equations. I have never heard about it before and, to be honest, trying this method for the first time I was smitten. The most interesting way that you can't even found this in any math books. So let me show you, my friends, logic. At first, he said, let's imagine that you are a constructor worker and you need to build a storage with a fixed area. Let's take this area equals to 39 square meters or square foots, no difference. Then let's put 39 to the right side of this equation. And then we have x squared plus 10 times x and it equals to 39. These two terms are two parts of a storage. The first one has a quadratic form and it looks like x and x with an area x squared. And second one is a rectangle and it looks like a rectangle area with sides x and 10 having area 10 times x, of course. And some of these two areas gives us 39. But how using these two forms we can find x? And then my friend invented a very interesting trick. What if we try to split in half a rectangle area in that way? Then from this rectangle area we have two rectangle areas with size 5 and x. And then he said, what if we try to dock these three parts, quadratic area and two rectangle areas, in a different order. How about that? Quadratic area, x and x, and then one rectangle area we put to the right side of this area, here, with size 5 and x. And second rectangle we put below the square, here right here, like this way. And he's also have lengths 5 and x. These two lengths are also equals to 5, we remember. And look firmly at this. It looks like a square, but with a missing part, isn't it? It seems obviously if we draw a puncture line right here. So our missing part is a square 5 to 5 and our full area is also a square with sides 5 plus x times 5 plus x. Area of a missing part equals to 25. Full area equals to 5 plus x times 5 plus x. And it equals to 5 plus x squared. And difference between these two areas is our desired area, which is equals to 39. That's why we can write that 5 plus x squared minus 25 equals to 39 or 5 plus x squared equals to 64. 64 equals to 8 to the power of 2. So from this moment we get that 5 plus x equals to plus or minus 8. And in this case the first x equals to 3 and second x equals to minus 12. If we really want to build a storage, the second x equals to minus 12 is not our solution, because length can't be less than 0. So if we want to build a storage, x equals to 3 is our solution. But we can remember that at the beginning of our problem there are no any conditions about x. Nobody told us that x is bigger than 0. So we can use this trick to solve equation and after that remember that it was all imagination and we can return to our reality. And the reality decisions of this equation are x equals to 3 and x equals to minus 12. How do you like this logic, guys? I think it's really good. I have to admit, no discriminants, no theorems of white, only logics. And to sum it up, I must say that logics is your true power in this world. You can achieve everything if you learn how to use it properly. So guys, I hope you really enjoyed this method and this video. Have a good day and I want to see you in the next video.